fading, I know There is something more than this I think I am ready For doing some changing, oh God There is something in my kitchen so you see this big bag of squash i mean big bowl this bowl is huge um these are some squash that a uh, friend of gary gave us and so um so yeah i had a brain freeze um but yeah i'm getting ready to cook these squash i'm just gonna fry them up so let me show you the ingredients we're gonna use for this squash um welcome back to another video sometimes i forget to say that welcome all my new subscribers um i thank you so much for um clicking on my video i thank you so much for subscribing i pray that you enjoy the content that i put over here on my channel so i'm going to show you the ingredients you're going to need some squash of course i'm not cooking all these squash i'm just going to cook enough for gary and i and the rest of them i'm going to slice them up and they've been washed, and uh, I washed them maybe three times in some vinegar water, and then I turned around, rinsed them off three times in cold water, and then I dried them off and put them in this bowl. So next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut them up, I'm going to cook some, but then the rest of them, I'm just going to slice them up and just put them in Ziploc bags and put them in the freezer. When you take them out, it'll be just like you, uh, just like fresh squash, like you just picked them. So that's what I'm planning on doing with the rest of those. But uh, for the rest of the ingredients, I'm gonna use some of this Tabitha Brown all-purpose seasoning. It got garlic pepper. No, it got garlic, black pepper, and lemon. Um, and it's salt-free. And this is the very good garlic Tabitha Brown. I can hear her saying that very good. You know how she said very good, very good. Tap the brown. I'm going to use a little bit of dash. I'm just going to use a little bit of both of these just to give it a little bit, you know, a little kick to the flavor. I'm going to also use some black pepper and some salt. And to batter it with, I'm going to use cornmeal today. Um, I cook my squash different ways. Sometimes I cook my cornmeal. Sometimes I make squash casserole. Sometimes I just smother them down. Uh, but today, I wanted to make some um, frying in cornmeal. So I'm going to use some cornmeal. And then I'm going to be frying them in this uh, pure can canola oil. So I'm going to go ahead on and start cutting up my squash. And I'll bring you back after I cut the squash up. I don't want to bore you with uh, me cutting up my squash. But as soon as I cut my squash up, I'm going to meet you guys over... I'm sorry, my head cut off. I'm gonna meet you guys over at my stove and we're gonna get started cooking these squash. So come on over to my stove. Let's go to the stove. Oh, 
All right, guys, I forgot to mention my milk and egg. I'm gonna make a, like an egg wash. I'm not an egg wash, but like a batter type. Really not a batter, I, I don't know where. I'm gonna dip them in this, this, this milk and eggs so the cornmeal will stick on the, on the squash. So I'm gonna season my, my um, milk and eggs with all the same season I'm gonna use in my cornmeal. I hope you guys having a, a great day today. I am having a great day. Bring you guys down some. Y'all sure enough can't see my head now. But that's okay. You really want to look at the food. You didn't, you didn't stop by here to look at me. You stopped by to look at the food. So I'm going to whisk my eggs and milk and seasoning. All right. Have my squash here. I'm just gonna put them all in there. I'm gonna put my oil in my skillet. All right, now take my hands, put some gloves on. See, I got my jerry on from the day. So I'm just gonna kind of Roll these around, try to get some air bat on each one, you know, so it is so the cornmeal will stick to it. That's all I'm doing. I just want the cornmeal to stick, so that's why I got the egg and milk. And no, you're not gonna taste them egg. It's not gonna scramble. You know, you just roll these squashes around in there. And I'm just going to start dropping them in here. All right. And then we're going to, I don't trust that zip thing for these two cheap bags. And I'm going to shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Y'all remember that song? Shake, shake, shake. I ain't gonna say that for it. Shake, shake, shake. All right, let's go over to the stove. Let's see if I all is hot. Oh yeah, it's ready. So I'm gonna try to lay them in a single layer. And make sure they coat it on both sides real good. All
get out the first batch. When I was a kid, my dad used to always fry squash for him and I. And he would always fry white squash. And I have not seen white squash since I was a kid. But he used, used to a fish salt and we would eat it with ketchup. And sometimes we would make a sandwich with it. And he loved ham, like he loved boiled meat because he had bad teeth. His teeth were always were hurt all the time. So he didn't like anything hard. He liked soft stuff. And he would make, um, boil all his meat and stuff. He's very silly and fried. Now he would fry, he would fry beef tripes though. He would do that. I'm over here looking at my girl, Life With T. Got her on over there. She is on her way to the kids school. Oh, I don't miss those days, Sister T. Now, last week, um, I have been going to Kilani games. She's been having games on Saturday. Basketball game. And then, um, Friday, Janaya had her award. You know, she's she graduating this year, my oldest granddaughter. So, her award day was on Friday. So, I went to that. But other than that, that's, and yesterday she had a baccalaureate service yesterday at the church here in my hometown. So, it's not, it hasn't been a whole lot that she's been having going on. Alright guys, I have my squash here. We are going to sample them and let you guys know how they taste. That's what they look like. Mmm. It's so good. So good. I can't stop eating it so good. Maybe because I'm hungry. All right, guys. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today. I hope you enjoy seeing me, seeing me cook squash. Y'all be sure to try squash this way, this way. My mom used to make them, but she didn't uh, fry them individually. She would fry them in cornmeal, but she would put them all in there at one time and just kind of, you know, stir them up and stuff. But anyway, y'all go ahead and get y'all some fresh squash and make y'all some of these and then let me know what y'all think. I hope you have a blessed day in the Lord. I love you guys so much with the love of Christ and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye guys. Mm.